what you're seeing and listening to is the washing machine dumping out and going into a vertical drain soap away and it works so good less than twenty dollars let me show you how you can do this yourself and truly save a whole bunch of money so we're emptying the washer it holds about 35 gallons each time it goes through the uh, cycle and you can see nothing's coming nothing's bubbling up it's all soaking out perfect can you hear that water hey good morning chuck here with apple drains you know out here at the office we have the washer and dryer out here on the back porch and what we've done with the discharge when it goes through a cycle is we put it down underground and it splashes out over here behind the fence but we've got a problem with that let's take a look at what's going on and let me show you how we can fix this for about 20 bucks so this washer holds about 30 gallons and when it goes through a complete cycle it pumps out three times so what's that about 100 gallons of water comes out of this thing every time we do a load of what this is gray water and we're going to use a milk crate and build a soak away for under twenty dollars so every time the washer went through a cycle you can see it just kind of flooded out here and it worked fine but it's rotting that wood so how can we fix this for just a few dollars from your washing machine there is the discharge pipe that empties the spin cycle dumping all that water out the back this is inch and a quarter pipe what I've done here is I've put it into an inch and a half pipe. It goes down under the home and basically it just splashed out onto the ground. You can see that pipe as it comes down here underneath the house and it goes out to the back and I've dug it up out here. You can see there's the inch and a half. That's been down there for about two years. And every time the washer went through a cycle, that water would just flood this area. You can see the fence is kind of rotten down there at the bottom. So we can fix that. Simply dig a hole, a square hole, that is the size of your milk crate. That's our soak away. We're using that milk crate as a soak away. This is a great DIY project. We're using that milk crate. It costs about $10 at you know Lowe's or Home Depot. And we're digging down to the hard pan. Every now and then, I'll double check to make sure we're going to fit this down into this hole. You can see it's a square hole. We need to get down a little deeper. There's two ways that we can do this. One is to fill that crate with gravel and cover it with our, our geotextile fabric. The other is to turn the crate upside down and leave a chamber so the water can soak out. Which way do you think is the best? Remember, this is a washing machine, so there's a lot of lint that comes out of the washer. Upside down is probably better, leaving that open chamber inside to collect all the lint. If you live here in the south, you will probably find groundwater. As you dig down a couple of feet, you're probably going to hit the water table. That's fine, and that's where we want to be. The gray water from the washer will still soak through that and out through the sides, giving you plenty of drainage. So you can see the groundwater. What I'm going to do is pour a bag of gravel down into the hole. That will give us a good base to set our milk crate on and still allow the water to perk and get down through. Now we just need to double check, make sure everything fits good. We'll put a 90 on the inch and a half pipe and point it down into our soak away. So this is how it's going to look before we put the geofabric around there. And what I did was I used some tin snips just to cut those diamonds out so we could put the pipe down inside. Tin snips work really good to cut that plastic. Now wrap the milk crate with geotextile fabric, cutting a hole in the fabric to allow the pipe to point down into the milk crate. Secure your fitting, and now we're ready to add the gravel around the outside of the soak away. Again, what a great project. For under $10, we can solve this problem of the flooding from our washing machine, the gray water. So now just a couple bags of gravel. Go ahead and just pour it in. And we're going to push that gravel over to the sides of this little milk crate. Need to be on the sides, not the top. Very important. The gravel is also important. 
This is just bags of gravel from Lowe's or Home Depot. And what it is is three quarters inch to inch and a half crushed washed gravel. It's the perfect stone for drainage. It only takes a couple of bags of gravel. Just go ahead and push that gravel over to the sides of your soak away. Make sure it's all tucked and ready to go. Now we're ready to put one more layer of geotextile fabric across the top and then we'll backfill. This layer of fabric across the top helps to keep the soil from dropping directly down into the gravel. Now you're ready to backfill. Go ahead and put your soil back on the top. Make sure your fabric is covering all the gravel. You can do that by just putting a little bit in with your hand to hold your fabric in place. Then you can use your shovel and really backfill it tightly. Cover your trench completely. You can mound it up a little bit because you can always come back and rake it out to any grade that you want. Now we're ready to kick that washer on and see what it does. It shouldn't have any water bubbling up at all. All of that water easily should be soaked away through this crate and into the ground. So from my research, I've learned that if you fill that crate with gravel, you actually lost 95% of the volume of water that could be collected by the soak away. Plus, because the washer puts out so much lint, it would basically pack the gravel completely within just a few months. It's kind of like the chambered dry well or leach field, drain field. There's an open chamber that allows the water to flood into the chamber, but soak away naturally into the ground. Okay, let's kick on this washer and run it through a cycle, see if any water bubbles up out there at our soak away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.